Hi, welcome to second video module. Hope you understood the last uh, video clip on uh, human resource management in tourism, travel, hospitality, and catering industries, and the job profiles and employment uh, uh, system, and then uh, industry characteristics. So, in continuation to that. So in this module, we will understand exclusively human resources uh, for service industry, right? How service industry uh, looks at human resources. So how uh, service industry uh, gives priority and then what is there with human resources as far as the service industry is concerned, right? Uh, because when you say that service industry, it is mainly the human resources, human resources. Uh, in terms of uh, the skills, knowledge, competencies and capabilities, these are the raw materials, these are the main sources uh, uh, to make product and services in service industry, right? Without people, the service industry, they can't uh, you know, conduct its business. So that is the, the simple uh, you know, line. So uh, as far as uh, this particular uh, uh, video model is uh, concerned, it is to understand the human resources in service sector, right. So as a part of this uh, you know, particular uh, uh, issue, so we are going to understand HR in service sector, HR wheel and forms of uh, HR capitals uh, you know, that HR presents for the service industry and HR uh, the challenges that are there uh, in the uh, service sector and then HR practices types of practices that are uh, the followed in service sector as far as human resource concerned. So these things we are going to understand from this model. If you just look at this uh, particular uh, you know, diagram, it's the role of HR in service sector. So the main role is uh, converting human capital into intellectual capital, right? It is something related to uh, the conversion the process, okay? If you just look at the conversion, as if, uh, for conversion you can see that the role of HR the practices uh, uh, in the uh, you know, uh, organization, so it, it follows certain mechanisms, uh, you know, the procedure, and then the framework, we call it HR framework. So HR framework uh, of HR department helps uh, you know, the organization to convert human uh, you know, the capital into intellectual capital. The human capital in the sense, uh, it, it is simple, it is uh, the human um, uh, intellect, right? That is human capital. So human intellect, or the intellectuality, uh, IQ, right? And uh, from that you can see that uh, the human mind, mind power, and then skills, knowledge, and uh, the competencies, and the abilities, and then capabilities, all these are human capitals. So this capital we are converting into intellectual capital as you know, the end you know, uh, um, result, that is the output is the product, product, products, and services which have been, uh, no, um, which have been uh, a kind of uh, suitable uh, for the marketing of uh, no, such uh, the products and services uh, with the market value in the uh, no, uh, marketplace. So in that context, you can see that uh, the HR role in service industries, human resource management department is uh, uh, no, identifying uh, individual uh, human capitals, so that is uh, individual level skills, knowledge and competencies and convert them and use them as a product. So the product and services are intellectual capitals, right? So that has come from the human capital of an individual. So this, uh, you know, the, the intellectual capital uh, you know, has a value, market value, which you can market and uh, sell in the market for the uh, end users and their customers. So that is the, the main role of human resource management in service industry. If you look at the human resource, uh, you know, the wheel in service sector, it is something related to, you know, um, understanding various capital the capitals like a human capital so that is the uh, resource uh, resourcefulness of an individual in terms of the talent and then uh, the social capital that is the job and then uh, the work design and then networking networking these are the the main uh, the two uh, issues that you can see at the structural level so then if you just look at the uh, you know uh, another important thing the social capital is something related to the networking and then uh, a kind of uh, you know uh, the relations that uh, one uh, develop with others, so that is the, the social capital of the individual. 
and the structural capital is you know the training and the development in terms of uh, uh, you know the supporting the people uh, to provide the necessary you know the sky training and uh, developmental uh, the facilities so that uh, their capital will be increased so that is what the system that is there in the organization to offer the training and development is called the structural capital so then organizational capital is something related to the pay and then rewards so what kind of system that is there in the organization to recognize and then reward the employees so that is uh, what we call organizational capital say for example ntpc uh, is considered as the best uh, employer uh, uh, you know among all right so that means you know the, the organizational capital in ntpc is more than indian oil corporations or even coal india or even other uh, the companies so similarly you can see that uh, you know the client capital so that is the performance management so the clients uh, how they rate so the image and then branding of uh, the company uh, in the minds of the uh, the clients so that actually the clients capital that is you can say that uh, the, the, the branding and then uh, the brand value of the company so the network capital in the sense you no know, involvement and then uh, expansion and then uh, uh, no the serving the people under uh, no social uh, responsibility corporate responsibility working for the you know the society at large so that is the network capital so you can see that all these are intellectual capital so so now the human resources in the service industry related to all these so if it is uh, uh, no something related to the uh, no human capital and then social capital is like a, a structural related and then you can see that uh, no the uh, organizational capital and then structural capital uh, the client capital is related to the delivery of the the system and then the strategy level is you know uh, networking and then uh, you know dealing with the people so that is something related to the st strategic level so these are the uh, various aspects of uh, intellectual capital under the the human resource uh, the wheel so if you see further the forms of the capitals that what we are discussing here, the social capital structural capital organizational capital and the client capital and the network capital so you can see the knowledge skills and then uh, experience of uh, the staff or people is a human skill and then the social skill is a knowledge and then embedded in the the values and the culture and then relationship and maintaining relations and rapport with others and the network is the social capital and way of uh, structuring the work so that means you no know, the structural uh, capital related to how you are actually arranging the people uh, on various jobs and then uh, uh, engaging them and then uh, extracting work from them that is a structural capital so uh, extracting work from the people uh, depends on the structural capital so organizational capital is something related to how organization uh, the treats and then uh, uh, no uh, keeps the employees in uh, the proper order that is something related to the procedure the policies and then system and the framework and then the procedure of the organization handling the people so then the client related the knowledge and the relationship of the clients with the company so then if you look at the networking capital of the organization so that is through people because organization means nothing but the people only so people when they are dealing with the you know uh, outside agencies the knowledge of uh, knowledge relationship of uh, uh, networking of the members uh, with the outside the agencies that is also another important uh, the capital which is called a network networking capital of the organizations all these are intellectual capitals of the organization which comes from the human resources so all these are the different forms of capitals so these capitals are very much uh, you know uh, required for any organization for doing business and to become successful uh, you know in the business uh, right so this is what uh, what is a very important issue here then further if you just look at uh, you know the human resource challenges in this tourism industry so main thing is the recruiting developing and then maintaining a committed and then competent uh, well manageable and then motivated workforce so because it is a since is an you know, unorganized system and then even if you look at the travel agent tour operators in indian context right and uh, different states there is no recognition so uh, legal system is not protected the employment of uh, these uh, uh, you know the forms so that's why so there is always issue because the people join and then uh, quit job without intimations and uh, how long they will continue nobody knows in the context you can say the tourists uh, the quality of experience depends on interaction so they will have with the uh, variety of the front line staff so the tourist satisfaction depends on the the quality of the people and the quality of service uh, uh, no uh, that exists uh, uh, quality of experience of the tourists depends on the quality of the people so that's why the quality ensuring the quality is the biggest challenge of uh, the human resource uh, the department in the industry so then the so called uh, momentum of truth that is the quality of the service uh, are the crucial for the organizational effectiveness success and then competitiveness of the 
the competitiveness and then profitability so as a whole if you look at the organization in the you know uh, tourism and travel industry right so their competency the success and then uh, uh, effectiveness depends on the the quality of people so uh, getting quality of people and making quality of people is the uh, role of hr department so at the same time if you see the demand uh, for variety of the skills and then highly uh, heterogeneity of the workforce uh, that is another issue so we need more uh, skills and at the same time we can see that heterogeneity that is there in the industry so that is a, another challenge so managing marginal workers such as the women young workers and then casual employees students uh, in the holidays also they just come and work uh, on various theme parks so literally high number of uh, the part timers and then uh, uh, immigrant workers so that is another the challenge of hr so at last you can see that the preparing socially responsible and ethical and morally right and then nationalistic uh, outlook human resources is the biggest challenge of the uh, no human resource department in uh, tourism and travel industry because uh, they are going to sell the nation and our culture and traditions unless and until they have the nationalism and then uh, the commitment towards the nation it's very difficult to uh, no the sell the product and services uh, uh, in the industry right so in that context you can see all these are the various challenges so further if we just see that human uh, resource practices so uh, as far as human resource practices is concerned employees uh, entry to exist days and uh, recruitment to retirement it means and then all actions and then reactions between the employer and employees so that happens in the organization so deals with the human resources so that is recruitment to retirement so in that context you know this entire activity is described under the different uh, uh, you know the titles and then uh, connotations if you look at the hr practices so sometimes it is called people management labor management labor administration labor relations industrial relations and employee relations personal management knowledge management performance management and competency management so like that you know this human resource management is described in a different formats in the service industry if it is it industry they call it uh, you know the competency management or performance management if it is uh, you know low skilled uh, manufacturing industry like you no know, coal or even cement so there you will see the personal management it is something moderate and then uh, you know uh, some kind of uh, knowledge based uh, pharmaceutical companies there they call it uh, knowledge management so if it is something jute and then cotton textile industries they call it uh, industrial relations so then so all these are the you know various uh, the titles that are used in the uh, various organizations but all are related to human resource management right so in that context uh, you can understand so how actually the human resource management is in the service industry right it is mainly we just consider it as a capital and there are different forms of capitals that are coming from the human resources in service industry so in that context uh, so uh, you can understand so this human resource element in services right so with this uh, let me stop here and looking forward to meet you in the uh, video 3 thank you very much